Hey, it is Ankahet with WPGN, and this is part two of our Let's Play arc. And uh, today we're going to talk about base building. Now, I've had a few days to kind of, you know, play and build some stuff. Um, so let's talk about that. Uh, now, I tend to build my bases near water, as you can see. Uh, and the reason for that is you're going to need water for all of your crops. So let's, uh, you know, let's go see about possibly getting some crops going. Uh, now I'm going to have to move all this stuff around, but I have expanded my base quite a bit uh, over the last few days. Uh, I have tamed a pteranodon here, as you see. This is Spritz, my buddy. It's my little flyer. I wonder if I can level him up. Yes, I can. Uh, so one of the things that you'll notice is that your dinos level up, but you have to access their inventory to get to their health and their stats and all that good stuff. <coughs> now let's talk a little bit about stats. <coughs> now pteranodons are very fast. Um, let's see where it put the base of its stats when it tamed. Uh, well, it certainly didn't put it into weight, um, but it did put it a good hefty amount into melee damage, which means that you know this bird is going to be able to fight. Um, a little better than most. Uh, you'll notice that most pteranodons, when you tame them, they'll put them into oxygen. I, I don't know why. You cannot take them underwater. You cannot fly them in water. You cannot land them in water. It will automatically dismount. Uh, so I've, it's got to be just an RNG thing that is kind of useless. Um, so for this fellow, since he's got quite a bit of melee damage already, 192%, that's pretty high. Um, I'm going to put it into stamina. Uh, that way he can sprint fly for longer periods of time. Um, he's got good movement speed, 140%. He's got really good melee damage. So we're going to put it in stamina. Uh, but anyway, now onward with talking what I was originally talking about. Um, one of the things that you are going to want in this game are vegetables and fruits. So, uh, what we're going to do first off is we're going to repair my we're going to repair my uh, pickaxe here. Okay. There we go. Alright, and now we're going to go gather some materials to build um, crop plots. We're going to need some small ones and we're going to need some medium ones. Uh, you can build large ones, but you really only need small and medium. There isn't really a real reason to build large ones. Um, even in higher stages of the game, the small and medium ones will do just fine. So we're going to go gather some uh, wood, stone, and some thatch so we can uh, build some crop pots. And we're also going to need some seeds, so we'll be gathering some stuff as we go along here to try and pick up some seeds. And I see that we have a trike stuck on a tree over here, which you'll see that happen a lot. Um, no, I don't. The, the pathing, or it got beat up a little bit, didn't it? I wonder what it was fighting. So we're going to try and yeah, pick up some seeds here. Uh, seed harvesting is best done with you know, a mammoth or a trike. You know, something like that. But this is what we have to work with at the moment. I haven't been able to tame a trike yet. Uh, yeah. Mainly because uh, I haven't made any trank arrows, and knocking something out with either trank arrows or trank darts is the best and smartest way to tame animals. But we don't have any of those. Um, you know, so we won't be doing any taming in this particular video, but maybe in the next video or two we will get into taming and what all of that involves. 
Um, so yeah, let's run around, gather a bunch of stuff up, pick up some rocks. Get some wood. Nope. And see, here's another thing that you're going to run into is the weight thing. Um, I don't recommend putting a lot of points into weight right off the bat, uh, but once you get your stats to a point where you're more comfortable, I do recommend putting a little bit of your points into weight, that way you can carry a little more. Uh, see, what I've done is I put some into melee damage, I put some into health, uh, and I put quite a bit into fortitude. Now, most people would argue that fortitude is a wasted stat. I disagree. I highly disagree. Uh, one of the things that fortitude in this game does is you'll notice that in the left hand side of your screen in play, down over here, um, like, you know, in this area over there, uh, you will often get a little fire symbol or a little frost symbol, um, you know, for being too hot or too cold. One of the things that Fortitude does for you in this game is it reduces uh, the amount of damage you take when you are freezing or overheated. So that's kind of a thing. And you'll want to pay attention to that. Uh, now I've never taken any damage from being too hot. But I have taken damage from being too cold, especially in the northern areas or in the caves uh, where it's very cold and you do take quite a bit of damage. So that's kind of something to keep in mind, uh, especially if you plan on exploring those northern areas a lot. Uh, you will want, you know, you, you will want... Um, Oh, right, fiber. Uh, okay. You will want some of that fortitude to cut down on that damage so you can stay out and explore longer um, without having to worry about the cold damage. Um, on my personal server that I play on with my friends, uh, I've got a fortitude of 30, a um, much higher level of course, but I have a fortitude of 30 and I can run around in the north part of the island and take no damage at all, ever. So that's you know kind of a kind of a good thing. Um, oh hey, that's a lovely pike that I have there. I should probably be using that. Uh, okay, but yeah, that's just something to keep in mind um, that the elements do affect you in this game and you will want to pay attention to that as far as your stats go if you plan to explore the colder parts of the island that have more uh, elemental relevance. Uh, so let's uh, get back on track here. Uh, there's my mortar and pestle. Um, I find it's always a good practice to try and sort everything out, you know, get as much excess stuff out of your inventory as you can every time that you come back to your base uh, because yeah it's just it's just too much of a pain in the ass to try and run around having that high weight um, now for the purposes of this video I am going to you know pop in a couple things so you know you'll see me pop in some meat you know, maybe like a campfire or something. Um, but that's just to expedite this video, and I don't really plan to play on this server anyway. I'm mainly going to be administration for this server. Uh, this is our public server. You can... I will include the uh, link address to the uh, server stats page so you can join it. Uh, in the video below. Uh, but this is kind of, you know, I, there's been a few people that have popped on um, throughout, you know. But we set the servers, do we set the server up to be for uh, beginners? You know, people that are just getting into playing. Um, 
Yeah, so we have reduced tame times. Um, I bumped the XP up a little bit. I bumped the uh, gathering wards up a little bit. Not nothing too, you know, too easy. Uh, reduce the amount of damage that some of the bigger dinosaurs do, but only by like a quarter of a quarter of a percent. So uh, just make it a little easier for people to learn the game. Uh, now you see that I'm sitting here waiting for stuff to cook, that's because, well, I'm low on food. Uh, i refresh my water, I'm also going to refresh my water skin. Uh, these, also, right here, these water skins, these are very handy. It'll save you a lot of trouble in the long run with having to worry about hydration. Um, so that's something to keep in mind also. So I'm going to go run out and get some stuff, more stuff, while that's cooking. Now, what was it that we needed? Let's see. So we're trying to build crop plots, so we need, uh, okay, well, we need just about everything, all right. So we'll just go and gather about everything. I wish that I could, can I make a sickle? So that would definitely help me right now. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can do that. Um, but, I'm looking for citronella seed or citronal seeds, savor root seeds, and rock carrot seeds. Uh, those are the things that I'm looking for. Unfortunately, you get more of them when you harvest with a dinosaur, but you can find them just by picking plants, uh, like you see me doing here. Let's get back, uh, check on our food situation. <laughs> I really like this game. Um, I've been playing it for the last couple of weeks and I'm really impressed with the amount of work they've done on it. And it it's a very nice looking game. Um, it runs well. Uh, the, the dinos bug out every once in a while, but it's really nothing too bad. Um, let's see. Do I have this yet? No, but I want it. Okay, so we're going to learn the metal cycle, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to go make one, and I'm going to show you what that does, because this is going to expediate this whole gathering fiber and whatnot by quite a bit. So, um, let's go to weapons, melee, sickle, I don't want to make five, but I do want to make one. Um, uh, sinuses are a mess today. Alright, so we made a sickle, um, you know, we're going to carry this around. Uh, I'm actually going to put it in slot 6 because it's not, you know, like a high use item. Uh, not right now. But anyway, so we're going to pop over here with our sickle and we're going to gather these plants. And you will notice that I'm not getting any berries or anything anymore. I'm getting fiber. Uh, the sickle will only gather fiber. It will not give you berries or seeds of any sort. Uh, I know that I do need seeds as well. Um but I also need a lot of fiber. Uh, when you're building structures and you know, planting items and things like that, if fiber is a thing, you'll need a lot of it, so just um, it, when you have the chance, build yourself a sickle, because it will make life much, much more bearable for you. Uh, now you notice that I've got my ground clutter on low. Um, it's not that I don't enjoy looking at all the overgrowth and the plants and whatnot. It's just very uh, hard to see things on the ground when you have all that stuff going. Uh, one of the main reasons that I did that is uh, on our other server we harvest a lot of dinosaur eggs or kibble and if the overgrowth is too populated, uh, you can't see them. So, yeah. Uh, so we'll get some fiber. that, so we'll gather a bunch of that. See that trike still stuck in. What do they eat? Um, let me consult my uh, my kibble thing here, and my training guide. Uh, I don't even know what level is that. What level is that trike? 16? Okay, so let's see. Uh, level 16 trike. He's derping out. Okay, level 16 trike. Uh, really? Is it gonna 
screw up on me now? No? Okay. So level 16 Triceratops. Uh, okay. Um, wow. Okay. So by normal standards, taming it would take about 20 right now, 40 minutes, but we don't have that much time. So we're going to pop in some Carno kibble for it because that's apparently what it eats. I, I don't know why, but um, we're also going to pop in a rifle with some trank darts. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. Don't worry, you're, you're doing okay. Uh, if any of you were wondering what all this stuff in the admin console is, um, you know, the first number is the item ID, the second number is how many of them that you want, and the third number is the quality. Yeah, so as you see, it's added a long neck rifle. But I'm looking for a certain thing. Um, I want a high, you know, I want a high damage one so I can just tank this and be on my way. There's a 485. There's a 744. That's what we want. Yeah, that guy right there, that's what we want. Uh, so we'll pop in some trank darts. And I'll just explain taming to you guys now because it's here and I kind of need it to gather berries. Um, so it would just be easier to do this. Gonna go ahead and add our rifle to our bar. And yeah. Uh, so we'll add our rifle to our bar. And give me a second, I gotta reply to somebody on Skype real quick. We'll load it up with uh, trank darts. Swap with this. We're also going to need some uh, berries. So we're going to find need your berries. 120. Right now, we added the kibble already, so I'll use those for something else. Um, so we'll need more kibble. Which was what, the 132? No. It was. Yep. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we got that. Uh, We'll probably need some narcotics. Which is 123. Uh, there we are. Alright, now. Um, when you hit them in the head, it does increased damage. So down it goes. Now we stick the narcotics in it, stick the kibble in it. <sighs> Compies, why? Oh, it's a level 64, no wonder it's taking so long to die.
there. And this guy's what, level 12? Uh, nope, come here. Alright. So, um, you know, basically this is how taming works. You knock it out, whether it's by punching, trank arrow, or trank dart. Um, you know, you see how it's got that unconscious bar? That's what's referred to as torpor. Now that will decrease, and you have to keep that uh, from decreasing too much, because if it runs out completely, it'll wake up and take off on you. So that's where narcotics come in. When you have narcotics, you use you stick them in the inventory along with your taming food, whether it's berries, kibble, um, you know, different kinds of meats and whatnot for different animals. Uh, and it will eat the kibble or the food source naturally, but the narcotics it will not. So when you see this torpor dropping too much, uh, you want to click on this and click remote use. And that will push that torpor back up to keep it unconscious while it tames so it's not trying to eat your face. Uh, but the reason that I wanted to tame, you know, tame the trike here is because I want it eventually for berry gathering, and all I would have to do after this is, you know, craft out a harness for it, uh, ride it around and harvest berries, um, which is much faster than trying to pick them all up by hand. Uh, so, you know, you want dinosaurs to do your gathering, a mammoth is very good, and, okay, a mammoth is good, um, uh, it gathers berries and wood. Uh, the armadillo looking things, I don't remember what they're called, but they're very good at gathering stone. Um, the ankylosaur is good for metal and flint. Uh, and, you know, different things are good for different items. Uh, the saber tooth, the cats, they're good for hides. Um, you know, obviously something like a carno or a rex, uh, they're good for meat. So just basically what, um, depends on what you want them to be gathering. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do the rest of this in another video, but um, normally what you do is you would gather your stuff up, you'd craft some plots, you'd irrigate them, fertilize them, stick a seed in there, and then it would grow. Uh, but we'll cover that in the next video. Uh, this is Anne Cahet with WPGN. We've covered a few things here. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps some, somebody. And uh, I will include a link to the server page in the description below if you'd like to join our public beginner server. Thanks for watching and take care.